To talk about business efficiency, we need to understand what is business efficiency first of all. And then we look at the organizational aspects, we will look at some of the performance areas, uh, we'll definitely look at the three performance areas, technology, process, and the people. And I'll try to suggest a roadmap that I think uh, probably is worth looking at. <coughs> well, there is a great saying, and uh, I think uh, this is the model for all of us. Uh, for a good work tomorrow, you have to do, we have to do good work today. As I said during my panel discussion, uh, we don't know what's tomorrow, we only hope. So when we hope, we have to look at uh, today to see what we're doing, what we did yesterday, and when we, when we basically look at both of these things, we just integrate them together, we can definitely expect that tomorrow is going to be inshallah a better. So before we go ahead, let's look at the organization. What is organization? What are the essentials of an organization in the modern business environment? Of course, the organization is an organization which has certain... Anyway, so look at the organization. The major, the, 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 the foundation or the root of any organization, the business excellence, is a leadership. And we have talk, talked about this leadership to a great level today. The leadership is a seat. Uh, leadership is, is, a, is, is a ground which takes care of the fruit and, and, and the tree that, that gets uh, uh, from it. The leadership then goes to strategy. We need to have a good strategy, looking into the future, the strategic thinking. Uh, no matter how good the strategy is, if your processes and procedures are not tuned to meet the strategic direction, then obviously there are going to be some serious challenges. Once you have a process and procedure work to put together, then you need to have the people. So when you have the people, then you need to have the technology. Okay, and of course, if you put them all together in a very systematic manner, then there is a good chance that inshallah, uh, target could be achieved. So certainly in this paradigm, uh, in this, you have to have three major elements. One element to contribute to the success of a leadership is a people, is a people, 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 is a human being, is an individual. We as leaders or we as the followers, whatever the role that we are performing, is a people who have to do the magic. Once you have the right people, you need to have the right technology. What people can do? They cannot do the magic unless they have the tools to do the magic. Now, I'm a human being, I'm an individual, I have the technology, I think I can do the magic. But, I don't know how to do it. So the process has to be there. So for the organization, there are three major elements which have to be put together in a very systematic manner to hopefully achieve a good success.